Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. I don't know if any of you are dealing with a Scorpio or something about a Scorpio person or that sign is relevant because as I was uh you know selecting decks intuitively and getting things ready i kept thinking of the queen of wands in relation to scorpio so um it's interesting that it's come out here it's come out reversed um so just a side note there we have the ten of pentacles reversed okay goodness and we have the devil capricorn energy there okay we have the lovers in the reverse. Okay, so Libra, for some of you, you know, looking at, at a romantic connection here, you either are going to meet someone or you already know this person where there is an incredibly strong connection, but it's like it flip-flops between feeling like the best thing you've ever experienced, the highest vibrational thing, and something that you might even describe as toxic with the devil being here and if i had to guess looking at these cards right now i would say you might be feeling like you're in one of the low phases you know like when it's good it's it's mind-blowing and when it's bad it's um it shatters your whole being and world and, and you can't do anything you know um in the same way you normally would we've got the nine of pentacles reversed seven of cups yeah this feeling this feeling this person this situation seems to put you very much in your emotions libra um and you might be feeling like um it's kind of elating but it's also um you know distracting uh, we've got the queen of pentacles reversed i just have to say there is a caution here if this resonates if this is your story spirit is saying don't lose yourself to this person to this connection um you know, you're coming up as man or woman, queen of wands, queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Well, a catch, <laughs> you know, just amazing physically, financially, in terms of your maturity, your ability to nurture other people, yourself, be compassionate, mature, stable, grounded, you know, really all round someone, many, many people would just you know what's the expression give their right arm i don't know <laughs> but but many people would want to be with you and would give a lot to be with you and spirit just want, wants to remind you of that you know how well amazing you are really so don't um don't don't you know if you do feel that you're sacrificing any parts of yourself for this connection at the very least try to get some space whether that looks like um pulling back in the 3d or or just um you know taking your mind off this for a bit if possible distracting yourself um doing something nice for yourself you know whatever that looks like um because we've got the devil reversed straight out after the lovers you know two sides of the same coin the lovers is reversed so we're very much in the shadow side of something here this does feel quite intense um with the knight of wands i do wonder if there's a lot of passion a lot of fun at all you can you know sense the potential for that here um but it it's like it's not grounded um so let's say you're around this person you have a great time it's fun it's exciting and then bam they're gone and you're left on this high but you, you know you're not brought back down to earth and you're wondering when am i going to see them again um wow let's have a look at um let's look at the devil with the lovers and then i kind of want to look at this person's intentions actually um six of cups in the reverse i wonder if um one of the really good things that this connection is doing is helping you to close close the door on something leave something behind and i'm specifically feeling it could be something within yourself so as an example um this could be someone who in some ways comes across as kind of self-indulgent or inspired primarily by passion rather than say practicality or logic um and they could come across even as a bit selfish in some ways and what one of the things that this connection is doing is really showing you it's okay to be more selfish because i feel like you haven't been selfish at all you're very conscious and mindful of other people here with the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles as well so one of the really healthy things this could be doing is if you have a tendency to maybe be self-sacrificing it's helping you to balance that out and leave that behavior in the past and i've just realized this is not even the six of cups anyway <laughs> it's the nine of cups reversed so reading it also is the nine of cups which it actually is um 
with the devil the lovers reversed yes you could feel like you keep getting to a place where you have these hopes these expectations and then they're dashed just before they get anywhere or before they solidify let's have a look at this knight of wands what's this what's the intentions of this person justice reversed there we go i mean so that's your energy okay so it's a general reading and it's not going to be one message for everyone but there's there are a couple of, of um possibilities i'm seeing here so the first is that this person's intention is not good you know we do have cards here that that are like sort of warnings red flags and with the, <clears throat> excuse me with your card coming out reverse this, this person's intention could be that they see how amazing you are everything i was saying earlier and they want to sort of get what they can from you and then disappear um and this is why spirit is, is bringing out a warning so early on in the reading just to be mindful um keep your you know keep your wits about you all this person justice in reverse is as i said pretty selfish and they're just absent-minded they're not aware of how they're impacting you so some of the things they do do seem unfair immoral even but they're not doing it deliberately you know it's it's maybe they've got their own things to learn or something like that but okay let's see what else Yes, Three of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Cups. This is someone who is very self-absorbed. I don't know if it's because they are sort of immature or um, they're mean, cruel, um, they're just oblivious. Like I said, I think, I think there will be two groups. There will be those of you whose person is kind of aware and doesn't care. Um, and those of you where... <coughs> excuse me, um, where this person doesn't realise how they come across, but they don't have a bad heart, if you see what I mean. Let's see what else we can see. It's almost like they show up, have a great time with you, they're not really here to be a team player, three of pentacles reversed, and then, then they're off. And you're like, where did you go? And you won't hear from them until they're back around for more fun or more passion. What else do you have for me, brothers? Three of Wands reverse, Page of Pentacles, the Hermit reverse. Yeah, this is someone either way, whichever category they fall into, that needs to do some inner reflection and healing. And I think they seem to breadcrumb you or give you just enough. Um, and what I will say, the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Devil being here, they this could be you could be an empath, a healer, that sort of thing, and they spotted you from a mile away. And this is someone who needs healing, so they've gravitated towards you. And Spirit is saying, heads up, what you don't want is a situation where this person drains your energy and then goes on their merry way, and you're left exhausted, confused, ignored. Um, I'm hoping for many of you this hasn't fully played out yet, so this could be like a heads up. Um, Let's see what else with another deck. This is, you know, I hope this at least is going to be helpful because I know it's not positive. And if it doesn't resonate, don't even take the reading. You know, don't take the messages. Don't let this bring you down if it's just not your story. But if it is, and you you will know, there will be no doubt. Because if you're in this energy of, you know, Queen of Wands reverse, self-doubt, not feeling as fantastic as you did maybe before you met this person, feeling there's a heaviness, feeling there's a toxicity, feeling like you know you're sky high when it's good and when they're with you and then you know you can't get out of bed when they're not and when you're not hearing from them then then this is your reading and you know i think you know obviously even within yourself that's not healthy that's not right um we'll get some advice for you in a moment okay five of cups temperance reverse the moon, Pisces, Sagittarius. We have Gemini down here with the lovers. Was that reversed, I think? Um, Ten of Cups reversed. Eight of Swords reversed. Knight of Cups. King of Pentacles. Okay, that's interesting. With the hidden energy of the moon. Ten of Wands. You know, um, Libra, I get the feeling that whether your person's coming off this way knowingly or they're completely oblivious very soon and remember this is only a two week time span you're going to be like you know what whatever your intentions are I'm not prepared to feel this way so that's it really I'm not going to keep thinking about this and um 
you know, it could be that they come back in, Knight of Cups, they want to see you, they want to go out on days, you know, they want to have fun with you, but, but that doesn't, that's like a, a bandage, a plaster over, um, you know, a deep cut, it's superficial, it's, it's not really going to fix things, it's not going to heal things, and I think you might decide, I'm fed up of being stuck between the Nine and the Ten of Cups, but never reaching the Ten of Cups, I'm putting this burden, I'm putting this disappointment down, so let's see what this hidden energy is with the king of pentacles because i'm wondering does this person secretly have the potential to be um stable a committed healthy partner but they're holding that back what is their secret do they have some other commitment they're not sharing with you which is why they're in and out and when they're out you can't even contact or reach them the world reversed the fall in reverse nine of pentacles wow we have um aries and aquarius energy here with the fall for some of you, I'm just going to say it. If you don't really have a clue about this person's life outside of you, it could be there's an existing commitment that they've got to leave in order to have a new beginning, you know, that, that they've got to leave to become single. So this person could be in a relationship, they could be married, they could um, have told you, yes, I'm going to quit that job, don't worry, I've left, now I've got more time and I'm, I'm working here now instead, and actually they haven't quit the job or something like that. So the reason they're flaky is because they could be being stable for somebody else. God, I'm so sorry, Libra. This is an awful, awful reading. Oh, okay, let me see. Is there anything else? Let's get three more cards. I don't know if this is going to resonate with that many people because it's so specific. We have the star reversed, Aquarius again. The king of cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this is someone who genuinely actually does have deep feelings for you and they can see all of your worth. But look what they're not telling you, Libra, the star reversed. They have this feeling of hopelessness within because there is some way in which they're not free and clear to pursue this as they would like. Um, and there's, you know, there's something they're not communicating with you here. Even this, this other third party energy, it could even be their family, as in parents, you know, aunts, uncles, siblings, that sort of thing. And they're not telling you how much that's getting the way, you know, religion, tradition, family values, that sort of thing. But this is someone who's saying, I actually do have deep feelings, but I, I'm not even really um, entertaining those feelings at this point because I'm not, you know, I, I kind of feel a bit hopeless about the potential here and how much I can do to pursue you and commit to you because of this other situation. So they come off like, I don't know, wishy-washy here and there. Um, and again, I'm getting a reminder from Spirit that even if they're full-blown in love with you, I mean, that's wonderful, fantastic, but it still matters how this connection leaves you feeling. Okay, let's get some messages for you from Spirit. Okay, so let's start with these Archangel messages. Okay, what guidance, what advice do you have for Libra, please? Courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Yeah, be courageous, stand up for your needs here, for yourself. The lines in the background are making me think of your guides, your spirit guides, you know, your guardian angels here. Okay, messages for Libra. Take back your power, yes. I mean, Libra, as I said right at the start, before we even saw anything about this other person, that, you know, you are obviously you don't even have to dig to look at you and, and see what would be amazing about being in a relationship with you it's all it's all there on the surface you know so many people probably look at you and think wow i would love to have a chance with libra and even if you know we're not even just here to be all about relationships you're just you know someone amazing to know you're, you're an amazing person you have so many um qualities achievements of all kinds that you've you've acquired throughout life and and you know hold on to that remember that don't let this connection drain you know your your self-confidence your power away okay it says use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life and we have comfort i am with you in your time of need helping your heart to heal and this is archangel azrael see look at this courage take back your power and comfort that really kind of sums up what we've seen in this reading you know that you've had to be very strong and spirits encouraging remaining strong taking back your power and feeling like you've really been through it here and for some of you you know you might feel like you still are um going through it okay 
So let's finish with one of these affirmator cards. Just lighten things up a touch before we close this out. I am, as we've gone through the reading, I'm leaning more towards the situation where it looks like this person is coming across as selfish because, you know, it, or, or their selfishness is something they're not entirely aware of. I don't see the full-blown insidiousness of like they want your money or attention or whatever it is. I think especially with this hopeless sort of energy here, um, this, this person themselves is out of alignment. They, and also I, I get the feeling they have this conscious awareness that they know what would be in alignment for them and they do consider you to be one of those um, people and this to be one of those situations but there's some way in which somewhere along the lines they're giving their power away to someone else some other situation and um so they're thinking right well i guess i can't have the life i want i can't you know make the moves i want um hence the star reversed but yeah i don't think there's an insidiousness i think it's i think they just need to be more aware and more mindful and um and you know step into their own courage <gasps> and look at this card courage again yes okay no one is fearless no one but even though i am not fearless i am courageous when fear shows up i don't run away from it i use my courage to conquer it my courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts then um then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away okay so i do wonder if this this courage here is talking about i don't know if you want to have a conversation with this person and you're you're mustering up your courage or you want to break a particular cycle or pattern and, and that's going to take courage you know to stand your ground maybe not reach out or uh you know make a decision to keep sort of living your life no matter what's going on in this connection and to be your best self whatever it is um this is interesting because this is saying you don't have to be strong full time permanently you can just do it in bursts as and when it's needed and then you can go home in your safe space and and do whatever you need to do you know so um if we think oh god i've got to be you know really strong and courageous it can be overwhelming if we think it's got to be for a long time but it could just be in small bursts that that might be enough here it usually is wow okay libra um i hope this has helped if it has resonated and i hope that um well i just hope this gets better whatever action you take or your person takes you know i hope this um i hope you manage to get out of this devil energy back into the light side you know into the lovers here um whether that's with this person or, or the union within yourself um yes do take back your power here whatever that looks like for you okay so i will leave this reading here and um, hopefully i'll see you again soon okay bye